Hey, it's Mr. G. We're at Memorial High School and very lucky to have Mr. K. Witt, Kevin Witt. He's the woodshop teacher here. Howdy. And what he's going to do is he's going to show us a comparison of his, um, of his joinery. Uh, I'll let him explain, but this is a continuation of the first video introducing this project where all the students had tried different types of joinery. All right, all take right. it away. Like Ron said, we're doing one iteration of each one of these butt joint joineries. Um, for instance, this one is pocket holes. This is the pocket holes with glue. Okay, so now this has had time to dry. And what we want to do is test it out with our force meter so that we can compare it to the other types of joinery and see which one's the strongest. All right, so we have a force meter here. It's basically just a luggage, luggage weight device. We're gonna okay, clamp it to get our in work. position. Nice. All right, so we're gonna go straight up with it. Wait, hold on, let me just see. So it's clamped in like this. Yep. All right, and let me get over your shoulder. All right, so we just keep pulling up until it breaks. So it was about 52. Wow, okay, 52, 52 pounds. pounds. Nice. All right, so we can see what I want the kids to see is two. How did it fail? Basically, just the glue joint failed. The screws are still holding it in. Oh, wow. Break it. See the screws that came out? Yeah. But it's just the glue joint that failed. Wow, okay. So compare that. This one is just dowels. Okay. Two dowels in here, you can't really see anything. Now show me, now how do we see, the, can we see the dowels from the back side? You can, you're not supposed to, but. Okay, so they're right <laughs> here. They're inside, they're okay. just pieces of wood that are inside. That and are then you glue inside. them, okay. Yep. Put the same force meter onto this one. You can see that was only about 12 to 15. Oh, okay. It's a lot weaker. All right. All right. Now, how do you make these pocket holes? That was the other thing I wanted to ask you. Okay. Take a piece of wood over to our pocket hole thing over here. It's a little used and dirty from the last class. So basically, you clamp your piece of wood in, secure it down. We have our drill with a stop collar bit on it. It's a special stop collar drill bit. Oh, very cool. Okay. All right. Put our safety glasses on. Yep. Very cool, and then that goes through like that. Yep. You put a screw in it and drive it in. Excellent. All right, I'm Mr. G. This is Mr. Witt, and we're here at Memorial High School, and that was our jo the, uh, Mr. Witt's uh, uh, joinery class, and we did the comparison. So the pocket hole with the screws and the glue did about 50, yep. and the uh, dowels, which were straight in with glue, was no, just under 20 to 18 or something. Okay, so different types for different applications, and then how do you evaluate it? You then uh, putting this on a chart? Putting on a chart and I want the kids to compare how long it took to fabricate each one and to think about the tools that are involved. So cost wise, you know, a hammer and nails is your cheapest. Having a pocket hole jig and having other tools that have to put together with the dowels and everything are obviously more cost because there's more tools involved. So we're going to compare that too as to how strong something is as opposed to the cost that is involved. All right, very cool. Okay, very thanks a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was good, I'm Mr. G. This is Mr. Witt. See you later. Hey.